When you're working in Illustrator, there are times where you want to rotate your canvas, especially when you're working on packaging or vertical text. This tutorial is gonna show you all about that. If we go over to the hand tool and click and hold, there's actually a rotate view tool. That's shift H as the shortcut key. Once we have this tool, we can click and drag to rotate around at any angle. If you hold shift, it'll lock that angle into 15 degree increments. So we could rotate it 90 degrees to be able to view this vertical text over here in our design. To get back to zero degrees, the normal default view, all you have to do is press the escape key. And you could do that anytime with any tool selected. Now the other thing you can do is rotate based on an object or a selection in your design. So if I had something that was at a certain angle and I didn't know the angle, or I just wanted to click and rotate to this text, I can select it, go up to view, down to rotate view to selection. You can also rotate view by specific angles here really quick. But if we want to rotate to that selection, we select this one and it rotates to what we have selected. Now, the other thing you can do is save views. So if you have a specific angle you work at that might be different than those default angles, in this case, it's not, but I'm going to show you how you could save a view and be able to go to that preset really quickly. If we go up to view down to new view, it's going to save this angle. In this case, I might say 90 degrees to the right and hit OK. And now if we go up to view, we can actually select that at the bottom down here. So if we press escape and we were on our regular view, working with our elements here, and then we wanna rotate really quickly, we can go up to view 90 degrees right and rotate this. You can edit and delete those views just by going to edit views down here at the bottom, select it, rename it, or even just delete it like that. Now, when you're working in this rotated view, it's still going to add elements in the way that your artboard is. So if I were to add a new text block out here, it's gonna add it based on the original axis of my design. So I would actually have to rotate those elements to make them rotated. It doesn't actually rotate your artboard in any way. This is just rotating the view of your canvas. So if we go back to that original rotation and I show you this really quick, shift H is the shortcut key and we rotate just a little off the axis here and we come over here and we're just gonna create a rectangle. It's not gonna create a rectangle in the way you would think. It's going to create it based on how your artboard is set up. So this rectangle is actually gonna be created at the angle of your artboard. It's just the view that you're rotating. So how you view your designs is rotating, not how you create your designs. But it does give you a good way to view your artwork. I think especially in packaging design, when you have multiple flaps and you need to rotate to them, you don't have to work upside down. You don't have to work with your head tilted to the left here. You could simply click an element, go to view and rotate to that selection. Now we can edit this text and retype anything in here and create pieces over here while viewing it from the side. And really easy to just press that escape key to go back to the actual orientation of your document. That's how you can rotate your canvas here in Illustrator.